Hey chickadees, I hope you all had a fabulous Christmas and New Year. Um, we spent it just in Bristol at home and just relaxed, which was really nice. As you can tell by the title of this video, this is going to be my review of the 2018 Make 9 Challenge and my plans for the 2019 Make 9 Challenge. I have articles on all of my 2018 projects on my blog so I'll link that down below for you. So I'm not going to go into detail about the actual projects themselves, more of a review of how I found the challenge and some of the pros and cons I um, kind of thought along the way. At the beginning of 2018 I was kind of watching a lot of uh, kind of home sewists YouTube, so people like Kittenish Behaviour, um, Beautiful Things and people like that so it was very much kind of not simple sewing but it was all about doing commercial patterns and the latest kind of indie patterns and one of my resolutions for 2018 was to use more commercial patterns so I kind of got into that community and I used commercial patterns as well as some self-directed patterns and I started with a couple of basics and then I did kind of more historical clothing so I made my chemise and my corset and my stays and then I went back to basics uh, and staples of my wardrobe, things I needed so underwear, pyjamas, things like that, these were things I needed however by the end of the year I was kind of feeling a bit bored with the challenge. It's obviously my fault for picking the projects that I did but I, I, I just kind of missed just doing big historical projects. So when I was doing my 2019 projects I had actually got a list of the projects I wanted to do by about August which is a bit insane but I had kind of acted on what I was feeling about the 2018 challenge and said oh I want to do some other big Oh, other things, maybe more historical and what I like doing, things like that. So I finished my 2018 Make 9 in about October and then it got just super busy um, at the muggle job. I kind of went MIA for a bit and I just didn't feel like sewing or coming home and doing videos and things like that. I was just super duper busy and stressed at the muggle job. The Make 9 challenge is really fun to do and if there are specific things in your wardrobe you can put those on to do them and I found that really useful for things like underwear and PJs as I said and these things I am going to make again this year and not obviously for my Make 9 but I will be doing them throughout the year. I've already cut them out and put them in boxes ready for when I want a quick project to do something like that. But as I said I did kind of feel I was maybe doing things that were too small and I think the Make 9 should be about doing bigger things, things that kind of take you out of your comfort zone a bit more. So on to 2019. Now I'd made my list of Make 9s and I'd put them in like a calendar format and it's only when I was making up the picture the other day that I realised I put the same project in twice. So I've kind of had to finagle things around and make an extra project to do. My first one is going to be a carpet bag like the one that Mary Poppins has. Now I've been looking at various patterns for it and there's nothing that quite fits what I want so I'm going to use the companion carpet bag which I'll link down below for you and I'm going to try and alter the pattern a bit to make the top a bit squarer because I don't like how it goes from the bottom and it kind of goes diagonally up into the handle. I want it more of a square or rectangular shape as you're looking at the side of it like Mary Poppins bag. So hopefully that's something I can easily alter on the pattern. My next project is going to be more hats. I have got a couple of hats. They're just really simple kind of straw boaters that I put some ribbons on. Uh, you would have probably seen some of them on my Instagram and things like that. 
but I want to make more fabric covered hats like Angela Clayton does and if you've followed me for any length of time you know that I have a massive admiration for Angela Clayton I think she is so talented and I love all of her headwear and all of the projects she does but the the hats she makes are just amazing so I want to do that more this year and she always says that she uses a kind of felt interfacing and I can never find something like that here in the UK but on one of her videos she put the link for the actual interfacing she uses so I've looked it up there are suppliers in the UK so I'm gonna order some and I'm gonna start making my own hats and you know embellishing them so that's gonna be my second project the third project is a taffeta bodice using a truly Victorian pattern that I got from the Kidnish Behaviour pattern swap earlier in 2018. It's a, an 1893 I think it is, but 1890s pattern and I'm going to be making that up in a lovely kind of bronze taffeta that I got from my mum. I've got a plain taffeta and then I've got a patterned embroidered taffeta that goes with it and I'm planning on making a whole ensemble and it'll be really really pretty. My fourth project is going to be a corset cover which I've already cut out. It's from a self-drafted pattern and it's using a broderie anglais from Minerva Crafts so that's ready to just whip up whenever I get around to it. The fifth project is going to be to clone my white dress in my best nine on Instagram for 2018 in three of the pictures I was wearing this white dress and it's a really really nice dress it's so comfy to wear it goes with so many things you can wear it in summer and then you can wear it with tights and wear it in winter and things like that and it's just an amazing all-round dress so I'd like to clone it and make another couple in a few different colors the sixth project is going to be a riding jacket from Victorian from the Victorian era I haven't yet quite decided whether I'm going to go commercial pattern or self-drafted. I want to base an ensemble on a top hat I have and I've had it for quite a few years. I got it from James's parents and it always reminds me of kind of like riding slash morning hats. Although it's slightly more embellished, it's got a bit few more flowers and things like that. It's a bit more gothic than it is like simple riding. Hat. but I would like to make an ensemble based on that so I can actually wear it I never I haven't worn it since I've got it and it's just sitting in a box and I'd love to wear it at some point so my seventh project is going to be a waistcoat style corset or a corset with straps it's going to be relatively simple I used to really want a underbust waistcoat corset that was sold by fairy goth mother and if I can find it I'll link it down below but the more I wear corsets and things like that, the more I prefer overbusts rather than underbusts nowadays because they they they're just slightly uncomfortable, and I just I just prefer the feeling of overbusts. So I'm going to just I'm going to make a waistcoat corset but have it overbust. So my eighth project is the one I kind of had to finagle and make up as I'd put the waistcoat corset in twice. And I have a plan this year to make outfits based on my family and particular photos of my family and then one of myself. So this is kind of going to be my uh, eighth make nine. It's quite a broad make nine, um, but hopefully it should work out. And I, I have like concrete plans. I vaguely know the kind of style and things like that. I've got a Pinterest board for it. So everything's in place quite well. So hopefully it should be relatively quick and easy to make these things up. For my final make nine of the year, I would love to make the cape coat from Crimson Peak. Um, I've loved it ever since I saw it in the film and I want a version for myself. And I might also make a cape cloak at the same time. So I'll have a post on Instagram with a picture of all my Make Nine plans on it so you can see visually what I'm planning to do. 
and I'll link that down below for you. I'll also link all of my social media down below, so if you want to go down, check it out, and give me a like, comment or subscribe, that'd be really, really helpful. I'm really excited for all the plans this year, and I hope you'll join me on my journey and like them just as much as me.